I try to time it for Monday evening. I dump out the bag of plastic bottles and begin. The first medications I was prescribed were the hardest. Nothing was working. With antidepressants, you have to wait at least two weeks to feel anything, and four to eight weeks for the maximum effect. With caution as the first rule in psychiatry, that's 56 days of anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts. 56 days dreading each time I had to leave the house, over 100 total hours of panic attacks that hit each night before I could fall asleep. 168 days total to find an effective antidepressant before we realized that my insomnia needed a different pharmaceutical altogether. With five more med changes, Ativan finally did the trick. At last, I could fall asleep without images of him climbing into my loft bed, dancing behind my eyelids. The creak of the ladder in my ears. The confusion fogging my brain as I woke up a few hours into Christmas Day with his hand down my pants. I could drift off without my legs thrashing the sheets like they did that night, fear literally contorting my spine. I had already felt trapped by his masturbation from feet away when he thought I was asleep, but he was 17. Isn't that old enough to know that you don't sexually assault your little sister? With my meds, I no longer had to lie awake each night steeped in panic, trying to remember how far he'd gone. But just like when I was 13, the exhausted release of blacking out preempted an answer. After years of self-doubt, I finally shared my secret with my parents. While he did admit to it, he was too filled with shame to fully accept responsibility. Two years later, just when I thought I was old hat at chronic illness from my PTSD, my body started aching and collapsing. Half a dozen specialists gave me varying unsatisfactory answers, diagnoses, Lyme disease, fibromyalgia, and vasovagal syncope. While I diligently fill my pill case each week, the things that help me function most have not been prescribed by any doctor. Acupuncture, a used wheelchair, near nightly baths, and a lot of comic books. I've learned that I need to nourish my imagination and replenish my energy often. I try to remember this. I try to remember this.